Our site-preloader block should be hidden by default. You may remember we have disabled two CSS rules which normally hide the site-preloader block. Now let's enable those rules. Go to the tree panel, click on the site-preloader element, go to the style tab, click on the icon for those two disabled CSS properties. Our site-preloader block should be hidden. Now we will control this with PineGrow Interactions. We will add interactions to this block so keep it selected and go to the Interaction panel. If you see the Activate Interaction button, click on it. This block should be visible as we load the website. So first, we should add Show at Start from the Actions list. Now if we load the site, it will show the preloader block. Now we have to add an interaction to hide the preloader block when the whole page is loaded. Keep the site-preloader selected from the tree panel. Select Interactions from the Actions list. Interaction 1 settings should appear. On Trigger, go to Page Load, select Load Page Fully Loaded. On Target, we can leave it blank. By default, it selects the current element. On Animation, select Custom Animation. Now, the Timeline Editor should appear. On the Timeline Editor, add a new transition by clicking on the blank area. A blue transition bar should appear. Click on the transition bar. The type should be kept as tween. For position, enter zero. For duration, keep it as 0.5. Click on Add Property. Go to Opacity. Select Auto Opacity. For the Auto Opacity value, enter zero. Now the Site-Preloader block is hidden, but we cannot click on the elements below it because this block is on top of everything. You can check the page in a browser. Press Ctrl B on a PC or Command B for Mac and Linux to preview the page in your default browser. And if you try and select the, or drag the image, you won't be able to do that. Let's switch back to the PineGrow website builder. Let's add another transition at the end of the interaction to completely hide the element. Click on the blank area inside the Timeline Editor. Click on the blue transition bar. For Type, select Set. For Position, enter 0.5. Click on Add Property. Go to Not Animated CSS. Select Display. On Display, select None. What this does is at the end of the transition, it sets the auto opacity to zero and we'll set our block on display none so that it won't interfere with any of the elements in our page. So this concludes our basic preloading interaction. Press Control B or Command B to preview the page in your browser. Hard refresh the page so that the page will take a little time to load and you can see our preloader in effect. How you accomplish this hard reload depends on your browser.